Hello, I'm Jason Olenketo. I'm a senior project engineer who works for Oshkosh Corporation. And we're here today to talk about the Oshkosh HT tractor and the Oshkosh XT tow behind broom. Okay, we're here today to talk about the H tractor. I'm gonna give you a virtual walk around. Um, wanted to start over on this side here. We've got our battery box. Down here, we've got our master disconnect. All of your heater controls, jump start lugs, centrally located, very easy to access to operate the vehicle. At the front hitch of the tractor, um, this happens to be the Oshkosh detachable quick hitch design. It's very nice, you can run the plow up, drop the plow down, disconnect it hands-free from inside the cab, and then you can move your vehicle inside the building, leaving the plow parked outside. What we have here is the Oshkosh plow. This happens to be our flare design. It's also available in a straight design. The flare design is nice. It gives you a little bit better cast distance and better snow clearing capabilities. Oshkosh offers plows for anywhere from 14 to 24 feet wide with a host of different style cutting edge and different hitches as well. I'd like to talk about the Oshkosh HT tractor full integration package offered from the factory at Oshkosh. We've gone ahead and added all the valve packaging and hydraulic controls that you need. We've got a very easy to access plow manifold here. We've gone ahead and we've added an additional PTO to the transmission. That's what we're operating all the plow hydraulics with. That gives customer, customers the option to go ahead and add a PTO pump at the front, off the front of the engine crank, if they have additional accessories that they need to operate. I'm going to hop up top here. The Oshkosh H tractor is currently equipped with the latest emissions technology. We have a 2013 Cummins ISX 12 engine in this vehicle, putting out a 500 horsepower. We feature DEF fluid as well as a DPF for your exhaust considerations, hydraulic driven fan, very easy to access all the controls for service and repair. The vehicle is also equipped with a tilt cab, very easy to operate, the cab will tilt. You can access the engine and then put it back into position very quickly for resumed operations. We're here to talk today to talk about the controls in the Oshkosh HT tractor. We've actually got two displays in this unit. This is your primary display that's got your miles per hour. All your drive engine controls and information is available here. On the Oshkosh HT tractor with towed broom, these are our broom controls. We've got a combination of controls, all the necessary information you need to control the towed broom, as well as the joystick and the switch panels. And these switch panels all have convenient ISO symbols on them to make, oper make it easier to operate the vehicle. We're taking a look here at the ballast that we install on the HT tractor. Uh, you're looking at about 9,000 pounds of ballast here. The nice thing about it is it's customizable. We've got multiple plates, multiple thicknesses, so we can custom configure to your whatever option you require. We've got all the trailer controls built in. We've got rear view camera controls on our towed broom. Everything attaches nicely between the tractor and the trailer. Uh, moving into the XT tow behind broom, this is our adjustable hitch linkage. We've actually got a sensor in that hitch that helps us understand where the trailer is at in relation to the truck. It's an adjustable height linkage. If you want to configure different option wheels, 16R20 tires, 395 tires, that linkage is going to help us balance out the broom and even everything out for better operation in the field. We're taking a look here at the landing legs. This is how we support the trailer when it's not hooked to the vehicle. Very simple design off the shelf from Jost International. It's got a two-speed crank on it, so you can crank it in, move it down very fast. Once you need to start moving the load, you shift gears on the crank and properly lift the vehicle. We're looking at the broom portion of the Oshkosh XT towed broom. This broom is available in nearly every configuration that our front mount brooms are offered. You're looking today at the SIB cassette cores. These are available in full poly. 50-50 wire poly and 100% steel mix. We also offer a wafer cord broom, um, which is also available in both poly and steel. 
This broom head is available in widths from 18 to 20 to 22 feet wide to customize for whatever preference you need at your individual airport. One of the highlights for the Oshkosh XT tow behind broom is actually our entire swivel package that we use to rotate the broom into operating position. To take a closer look at it, we're actually using a slewing ring bearing design featured on many of our Pierce ladder trucks as well as JLG man lifts. It's common design for Oshkosh. We're very proud of how simple this design actually works. It literally has two cylinders that just push and pull the linkage. Um, we've eliminated the requirement to have a swivel due to the clean routings and hydraulic tubes that we've actually got in the center of this joint. It should last a real long time in the field for our operators. The hitch is actually available in both a 35 degree and a 45 degree stop design. Configurable by the airport. We have a software programming option in our cab that can select between the two. The only difference between all of the components is the hitch stop point up top. The Oshkosh XT tow behind broom is equipped with optional forced air blowers for whatever needs you have on your airport. The Oshkosh XT tow behind broom is equipped with the latest emissions technology from Cummins. This is the Cummins QSX 500 horsepower engine. Features tier 4i off-road emissions. Requires the use of a DPF. It's out there to keep our environment clean. Um, take a look at this engine compartment. It's very clean. Look at the routings, the centrally located filtration that we have. We've got our air cleaner, hydraulic oil filter, charge pump filters, ether bottle, fuel water separator. Everything's located in a very easy to access position. This is our battery box. One of the nice things about this, we've got a little light switch right here on the catwalk, can light up the area, accessible from the ground or on the catwalk if you need. This is our hydraulic valve. Um, very easy to get to. It's very handy as well. If you look at it here, we actually have LED lights. So for troubleshooting purposes, anytime you activate a circuit, one of these lights are gonna turn on. That's gonna help you troubleshoot problems more quickly in the field. We've also got available poppets on the ends of these valves. If you push these in, let's say you've got a truck down situation, maybe you cut a wire harness, you can manually move your implements back and forth utilizing the push buttons on the end of this valve. We're back here at the rear of the trailer and there's a lot of features I want to try and show you here. Up top we've got our reversing camera. Anytime you put the vehicle in reverse that camera is going to turn on and help you see what's behind you when you're backing up. Um, over in this area here we've got all of our heater ports and our chargers, your block heater, battery heaters, whatever you want equipped on the vehicle. This is where we locate them all centrally in one position. Uh, looking further down below you can see that we've got remote drains for your hydraulic oil, engine oil, and whatnot, making it easy to service and access the vehicle. Also in this area here, we have our all-wheel steer manifold. Um, really more for maintenance and service, uh, but you do have the ability to manually steer your rear axle utilizing the buttons on this valve. Basically here at Oshkosh, we've kind of taken a little different look at steering compared to some of the competition. We're actually using an electronic hitch sensor over at the truck. That's sending electrical signals all the way to the back of the vehicle. We have what's called a smart cylinder on our axle. That cylinder always knows exactly what position it's in. The trailer is designed to track right behind the vehicle whenever you're driving. Some of the cool features that we offer, one of them is auto center in reverse. Basically, when you're driving this truck, if you put the truck in reverse, this trailer is going to automatically center that rear axle to make it a lot easier for the operator to properly position the vehicle. Here's another shot of our engine compartment. One of the things you're going to see is how easy it is to access everything in this vehicle. It's nice and clean. It's nice and open. Uh, one of the nice features about this product is our cooling system. We have a mechanical driven fan taken off of many of the trucks that we've manufactured for many years. This fan runs everything. It's got our CAC in it, the radiator, as well as the hydraulic oil cooler, all running off of one individual fan. Over here, this is a very nice feature. This is our cyclonic reservoir. 
basically looking at the environment, we're able to package about a seven gallon reservoir that can handle all the requirements for the entire towed broom. Less maintenance, less wasted fluid, and the oil heats up much faster to get to operating temperature when you're running the vehicle. Right here, we've got our main broom display. This is an option for us, but basically we're giving you all the controls that you have in the cab. They're also located right back here on the broom. It's great for service, working on the vehicle inside the shop, setting your pattern on your broom, all very easily accessible. I'm gonna go ahead here and shut the door on this. You can see here, we've got door straps, prop rods, and right here, this is our access door. One of the things, if you're working on the broom, you want to be able to see what's going on. We didn't want to have the whole door in your way. So we've got a nice clean access door for you to operate. All the controls are available here. And also below the unit, you're able to move the broom head up and down, adjust your pattern, rotate the broom back and forth, as well as cradle or uncradle without opening any doors at all. I'd like to talk about the smart cylinders that we're utilizing on this XT tow behind broom. This is our first one right here. This is actually used to control our broom core up and down. When you go ahead in the cab and you set pattern on the vehicle, this sensor is reading the position of the cylinder. So it knows exactly where it is and it allows for repeatable performance time and time again. When you raise the broom, when you go back down, smart pattern puts it right back in the exact same position with the help of this sensor. Now we're actually using three of these cylinders on this Toad Broom product. We've got the broom core settings. Up top in our main broom swing, we've got a sensor up there. We know exactly where this broom is at and we actually display that in the cab during operation. The final place we're using one of these smart cylinders is on our steering. Once again, very important for us to know where the rear tires are at in relation to the vehicle. Talking about electronics, we can also mention the hitch sensor that we have in the truck. One of the real nice things that we've been able to do is we can actually give the operator a jackknife warning inside the vehicle. If you're driving this truck, if you get tighter than 75 degrees between the broom and the tractor, we're going to set off a warning in the cab. Just letting the operator know, pay attention to where you're at. You don't want to run the tractor into the trailer behind you. Thanks again for joining us today for a virtual tour of our Oshkosh HT tractor and our Oshkosh XT tow behind broom. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact your local Oshkosh representative or your local Oshkosh dealer. Thanks again.